so we partner with operators, um, owners, and sort of fee only managers. Um, kind of everyone who sort of touches a you know large managed multifamily um, complex. And you know, really the goal there is I think we had sort of have this aligned vision on how can the resident experience be the best possible, um, and how can furniture be used as or furniture service be used really as a differentiator for the communities. Um, you know, residents have traditionally kind of had two options with, with with regard to their furniture. They're either paying to move their existing furniture with them, um, and you know that can amount to thousands of dollars if it's a cross country move. And we know, like clockwork, seventy percent of the time residents get new furniture within three months, right? So that sort of tells us that they're paying thousands of dollars just to have temporary furniture until and and you know not have the mattress on the ground until they can get new furniture that fits, fits their new floor plan. Um, or they're getting new furniture when they move in, right? They're dishing their old stuff and they're getting all new furniture. And traditionally that's been, you know, a, I think a frustrating experience to say the least. I mean, you're, you're talking about spending your first two weeks as a resident in your new city, you know, shopping for and then assembling cheap furniture, right? Or you're waiting, you know, four to six months for your, your nice couch to arrive. And, Neither of those are ideal resident experiences. Um, and so the, the question becomes, you know, if, you, if you're looking at new communities, would you rather be able to promise residents that, you know, when they move into the community, they'll have furniture from Crate and Barrel set up in their new home and they don't have to lift a finger? Um, or would you rather have the old experience, right? And so I think when we talk about partnering with multifamily managers and, and REITs, um, it's really about reducing the barrier to entry to moving into a new community, right? That's what it's all about and, and how that resident experience with regard to move in and furniture and getting your home set up and settled, how that's kind of built into that leasing and move in experience um, to really create sort of a new magical experience for residents that doesn't involve uh, assembling their new furniture. Yeah, no, nobody likes that. I, I, can't, I don't know anyone who's like, yay, I get to assemble the furniture and use these weird wrenches that never seem to work. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, things that are never said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So with these experiences, is it more turnkey, like here's a whole apartment, or is it more just room by room? Yeah, that's a good question. It's really both. I think it really depends on, on, the, um, on the type of customer. You know, I think everyone is sort of turnkey to some extent, right? Like, like you said, no one likes assembling furniture. I, I like it set up for me when I move in. I think traditionally that it's been difficult for, for consumers to trust that they're going to get the type of furniture that they want um, because fully furnished and turnkey furniture is, you know, it's been synonymous with corporate suites in the past, right? For like the last 40 or 50 years. Um, and this is a new turnkey service. It's, you know, it's, Resident high grade residential furniture. We we feature furniture from Crate and Barrel and CB two, um, but it's set up and delivered in your home. And and you know I feel it sort of feels like we're kind of emerging f almost from like a stone age with regard to furniture. You know people have just sort of accepted that schlepping it around or assembling it or paying to store it while they you know move to Boston for four months. I just have a friend that's doing that right now, um, and they've just accepted that's part of owning furniture. And I think we're starting to, to, consumers are starting to catch on that there's a better way and there's a service that can be evolved with it. Um, so to directly answer your question, you know, we see it's turnkey for a lot of folks, especially those who are um, kind of who are coming internationally. But for a lot of folks who are doing, you know, intra-city moves, um, they've already got a few things and they just need to kind of fill in around. If you enjoyed this excerpt from the Million Acres podcast, please consider subscribing from your favorite podcast provider. New episodes of the Million Acres podcast are released every Tuesday. Million Acres is a Motley Fool service. Find out more at millionacres.com.